Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Probably Got This, and I am back for another event guide in ESO, and this one is pretty spooky. This is the 2020 Witches Festival. In this guide, I'm going to cover all the details you need to know about how to start the event, how to participate, what rewards you can obtain, a huge XP boost throughout the event, and details on the last and newest Indric variation, the Crimson Indric. So let's go ahead and get spooky. So right off the bat, I really hope someone didn't just close the video because of that joke, but come on, it was perfect and it was just set up perfectly. But the Witches Festival will begin on Thursday, October 22nd at 10 a.m. EDT and will run until Tuesday, November 3rd at 10 a.m. EDT. And by the way, if you want to come participate in the Witches Festival with my community, you can always stop by my stream at twitch.tv slash probably got this Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can join our Discord and our three guilds. The links to the Twitch and the Discord are in the description. This event, by the way, will be on all platforms as usual, so no need to worry there. Let's move on to the even better news. In this event, you're going to be able to obtain some insane amounts of loot that will get you collectibles and much, much more. But not only that, you will get an XP boost this entire event. Yes, get your tunes ready, get your 1200 alternate characters ready to level because you will be able to get a 100 XP boost. So in order to start the Witches Festival and get this wonderful XP boost, you need to go to the Crown Store and acquire the free quest. Once you do this, you need to complete the quest, The Witch Mother's Bargain, to obtain The Witch Mother's Whistle Memento. Don't worry, if you have done this in the past events, you don't need to obtain The Witch Mother's Whistle or do the quest again. Just go to your Collections tab and use the whistle from there in your mementos. Once you use this whistle, you will get a 2 hour 100 XP buff and Witch Mother's Cauldron. If you use the cauldron, you will be transformed into a spooky undead character. And you don't need to use the cauldron, though, to get the XP buff just the whistle but if you want to be a spooky undead character make sure to use the cauldron now that's how you start the event and receive your xp buff let's go into the rewards and how to obtain them so when you defeat a boss monster you're going to receive a plunder skull in addition to its other loot you obtain so that's any boss monster anytime so you can keep farming bosses these skulls can obtain the following items you can get new pieces of the throwing bones memento you have to combine 10 of these to get the collectible you can get hollow jack style items, Dramora style items, Witches Festival themed recipes, Witches Festival themed furnishings and furnishing recipes, Bewitching Alchemy Reagents, and an assortment of creepy items, whatever that means. Now here's where things get even crazier. The first time you slay each different type of boss each day, you're going to receive a Dramora Plunder Skull. These can contain the following items as well. Dramora Motif Chapters, Witches Festival Ritz, which Wow, I just said witch as well. That's, I, I can't get over myself right now. Uh, with these writs though, you need to complete these to uh, unlock the achievement that you'll earn a new witch's hat collectible and the witch title. So in order to get the witch's hat, you just need to do 28 witch's festival writs and that is in the achievement tab um, and you can find that there. But 28 witch's festival writs. You can also get Glenmoral treasure maps as well. You use the map to find Glenmoral uh, weapon style pages scattered all over Tamriel. You can get Glenmoral armor outfit style pages, and you can get the new Grave Dancer weapon style pages, which these look pretty cool as you can see in this picture here. So if you're still following, there is more details that I wanna go over here. So whatever type of boss you defeat, if you receive a uh, Dramora motif style pages from the Dramora skulls, you will receive one of two different Dramora motif pages depending on the boss that you kill. These are the following rewards associated with each type of boss. So, final arena bosses will drop the Dramora motif pages for bows and legs, Dark Acre, Geyser bosses, Craglorn focus points, Hairstorms, and Zone dragons will drop the motif pages for daggers and gloves, the Delve bosses will drop uh, motif pages for staves and belts. The final dungeon bosses will drop motif pages for helmets and maces. The public dungeon, imperial city bosses, and quest bosses drop the pages for shields and boots. Final trial bosses drop Dramora motif pages for swords and chests. And world bosses drop Dramora pages for shoulders and axes. So I want to recap these rewards real quick for any of you that are still confused because it is a little confusing. So any time that you defeat a boss monster, whether that be a delve boss, a geyser boss, a world boss, you name it, 
you will receive a regular plunder skull. So these can be farmed throughout the day forever, basically. But the first time each day you slay a boss of each type of boss content, you will get a Dramora Plunder Skull in addition according to how they worded this. So for the Dramora boxes, if you go kill a Delve boss in Aradon, that will use up your Dramora box for the Delve bosses for that day, from what I understand. Now, you can go still kill a World boss and get a Dramora box, but the first time you kill each type of those bosses, you will get a Dramora box. And it says... It's uh, Dark Anchors, Geyser Bosses, Craglorn, Focus Points, Hairstorm, and Zone Dragons. And it, so what I'm wondering with that is, does each of those public events drop a Dramora box? If it does, and same with Public Dungeons, Imperial City Bosses, and Quest Bosses, if those each drop one, that means you can get 13 Dramora boxes each day. If that's not the case and they group those together, you can get seven. But I'm pretty sure from how I'm understanding it, you can get 13 Dramora boxes each day. Either way, you're going to get a lot of Dramora boxes. So this is awesome, and I'm excited for this. So make sure to do this content, y'all. Also to note, you don't have to do the trials, dungeons, or arenas on VET. You can do them on normal to receive these rewards. So don't worry about doing them on VET if you don't want to. And lastly, the last rewards you can receive will be coming from the Impress Ario. And she has a brand new Indric variant, the Crimson Indric. This will be the last Indric variant that Zoss is doing for the foreseeable future, so I'm interested where they will go next. Let me know in the comments what variant you would like to see next. And make sure to like and subscribe and heavy attack that bell icon if you guys like this kind of content. But in order to start completing this Indric, you will need event tickets. So the first time a boss drops a Dramora Plunder Skull each day, you will receive three event tickets but you have to loot the boss to get the tickets and make sure you aren't full on tickets. So if you go into your currencies tab, you can hold 12 tickets total. If you have 12, you won't receive them for the day if you loot a boss. If you have 10, you will only receive two. So make sure to not be full. Now the Impress Aria will have the following rewards that you can purchase with event tickets. You can get all four base Indric Feathers, the first two Crimson Indric Berries, Group Repair Kits, Throw Bones, Memento, Grave Dancer Weapon Style Pages, and new Grab Bags. And also with the Impress Aria, the locations that you can find her at are in most major cities, but for the main uh, Alliance cities, you can go to Aradon and go to Vocal Guard for the Aldermary Dominion. You can go to uh, Ebonart Pact uh, and go to Stonefalls and then uh, Davin's Watch for the Ebonart Pact. And then for Daggerfall Covenant, you can go to Glenumbra and then go to Daggerfall. I'll briefly explain the Indric and then the grab bags. I have a detailed Indric video in the description or the top of the screen that you can watch for more details, but here's a summary of how Indrics work. You will need to get one of each of the Indric Feathers. Those Indric Feathers are going to cost 10 event tickets each, totaling 40 event tickets. Once you do this, you can combine your Indric into the base Indric Mount. Then in order to transform your Indric into a variant, you will need one of each berry of that variant. Those berries cost 10 event tickets each as well. So there are four berries, meaning 40 more tickets. Right now, there are only two berries available for the Crimson Indric. The other two will come with other events this year. Normally, what I tell players is focus on getting the berries first because the feathers are always at every event. So get the berries first. However, this is the last Indric variant. So as long as you get one of each feather and one of each berry, you will get the variant. Now, another thing this year are grab bags. These will contain a collectible from previous Witches Festival events. The cool thing about this is every time you open a grab bag, it will only ever contain items you don't already own or know. And once you've received every possible item from those, you can't buy any more of them. Now, you need to remove the items from the container, otherwise you can receive duplicates. So for instance, if you open a container and don't loot them because say your inventory is full, but then click another one, you can get a duplicate because it hasn't registered in your inventory yet. For this event, a grab bag can contain apple bobbing cauldron fragments, uh, Spectre Mask Collectibles, the Skeletal Marionette Memento, and Hollow Jack Motif Pages. Also, you can buy event tickets for 250 crowns in the crown store if you'd like. But remember, with all of this, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to stop by my Twitch chat at twitch.tv slash probably got this on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link is in the description, and you can always join our Discord and Guilds. The link is in the description as well. But I hope you all are excited to participate in this event. I know I am. I particularly am excited to get the Witch's Hat from the Ritz because I've wanted that for so long. But if you want to get 
real-time updates with my content, make sure to follow me at Twitter at BrawWeGotThis and check out our website for guides at BrawWeGotThis.com. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, and heavy attack that bell icon if you do like this content to stay up to date. And huge shout out to all my patrons. If you want to become a patron, check out the link below in the description to see all the extra things you will get. But until next time, have faith, be great, and I'll see you on ESO.